Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Scorpio. This is going to be for your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is next in love for you guys, okay? And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Um, you may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Scorpio people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new video is posted. I'm going to go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated to to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So tell me about Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio in love? What's next in love for Scorpio? What's next in love for Scorpio for May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Scorpio. And keep in mind, you guys, this could be with new love, current love, or an ex, okay? Ace of Pentacles here and the Page of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. There's some here that, that's definitely making you some sort of offer here of commitment, okay? Um, so, you know, that Ace of Pentacles is a representation of a long-term plan. It's, you know, commitment, you know, think a future thinking here, okay? We have the Lovers here, Gemini Energy. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We have the Nine of Cups, okay? Uh, you could be dealing with the air sign here, um, Scorpio. Whoever this is, this person's like madly, madly, madly in love with you, okay? Uh, we have the Ace of Swords. So I feel like this person basically wants to tell you how they feel, okay? This could be a newer person that's coming into your life here. This person's very, very, very intelligent. This person's very chatty. This person knows like a lot of kind of like weird, strange information, you know? I feel like they are like you know, kind of like a, like a, like a walking Wikipedia, okay? Uh, this person just, like, knows a lot of random facts. You got the Ace of Pentacles here and the Emperor, Aries energy, okay? Some of the Page of Swords and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Whoever this is, I feel like this person's the real deal. This person might come off a bit emotionally aloof and very cold, but I feel like this person is a very mature individual. This person's a very kind individual, okay? Um, so let's see, some of the, uh, lovers, we have the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Sometimes that, that Five of Swords, yes, it's competition. It's trying to get ahead, you know? But sometimes I also see the Five of Swords of someone here putting themselves first or that they're trying to put you first, you know? So the uh, King of Swords here and the Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? I, I forgot to clarify the uh, Five of Swords. The Five of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person's trying to put you first here at the Nine of Wands. And the Hierophant, and I feel like this person is really loyal to you here. You know, I do feel like this person has been through a lot of trauma, a lot of physical trauma, because I feel like this person might have a background in either the military, or like this person could be a police officer, or that this person could be a high-ranking CIA agent or FBI agent or something like that. But I feel like this person does have a lot of physical injuries, okay? The Nine of Cups here, and like I feel like this person, like I would say that they're handicapped, you, you know? So, um... Or that this person is considered handicapped here. So, uh, yeah, but whoever this is, I do feel like this person is a very incredibly spiritual individual. And you feel like this person is a very loyal individual. And I feel like this person's like, has very strong moral and core values here. The Ace of Swords and the Devil. Wow. Why is the Devil here? Three of Cups. Here's a thing. I do feel like this person has a bit of a dark side here, okay? I do feel like this person has a drinking problem or that this person can party a lot. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what else do we have for, for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know, look out for, work on for May 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs when it comes to love. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo... We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, 
with the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, with the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, with the Eight of Wands, and then we have the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I mean, there could be someone from your past that's with this double energy in the Three of Cups. This is someone that you cut out in the past, and I feel like the, there could be someone here that's coming in to reconcile here with you, but I feel like you're just focused on a new person here. So this situation with the Three of Swords, the Ace of Swords, the uh, Devil, and the Three of Cups applies to someone from your past, not this new person. Yeah, it's not this new person. So tell me about the Page of Pentacles here. It could be someone that's coming in with an apology here. The Page of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, okay? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Six of Wands. Whoever this is, I feel like this person feels like they have what it takes to make something work here with you again, okay? But I feel like you've completely moved on from this individual here, Scorpio. The Ace of Swords, the Eight of Wands, the Sun. Yeah, you're happy with where you're at, especially this masculine, that the strong masculine energy that's coming in here, this emperor, emperor slash king. Um, tell me, uh, tell me about the uh, Queen of Cups, the Empress. Wow. Oh, oh, whoever this is, this new person that's coming into your life, this is your soulmate here, Scorpio. This is your soulmate here. I feel like this person is going to make you really happy. I feel like this person is going to be completely different from the last person that you dealt with here. We have the Knight of Swords with the Eight of Swords. Yeah, someone here is coming back around because I feel like someone here can't stop thinking about you. With the High Priestess and the Two of Cups. You know, I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you know deep down inside this new person that you're dealing with here is the person for you. Perhaps, you know, the past person that you're dealing with could be a soulmate also, but this person is not your jam here you know and i feel like you're completely moving on from this past person you know i feel like as soon as you move on to someone new this past person comes back around rear rearing its ugly head trying to reconcile here with you okay uh we have the three of pentacles someone here wants to work things out here with you from the past they want to move forward with you here but i feel like it's a hard left here for you scorpio Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Three of Swords, we have the Eight of Pentacles here in the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Wow, whatever you don't give this person, or if you try to deny this person, or if you try to walk away from this person, I feel like this person will throw a huge temper tantrum here. This is someone from your past with the Six of Cups here, Scorpio. I mean, this new person that's coming into your life, you know, it could be an indication that, you know, you have a strong soul tie with this person. This could be a past life soulmate, and you could feel very safe and very comfortable with this person here, okay? With the, yeah, I feel like new love is coming into your life. As soon as new love comes into your life, this past person is rearing its ugly head trying to reconnect with you here. And I feel like you're not going to let that happen here, Scorpio, because I feel like you're just focusing on the new. I feel like you don't want to turn your back and look back at the past here, okay? So, Scorpio, I feel like, you know, new love is coming into your life. I also feel like someone from your past is coming back, trying to reconnect with you here, trying to reconcile here with you. But I feel like you've changed so much as a person that... You know, you just don't have space for this past person to be in your life. So, uh, Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.